Welcome to the Week in Review for the week of 15th to 19th of July, 2024. Week on week, the main stock market indices were negative, with the S&P 500 losing nearly 2% and the Nasdaq 100 down by 4%. The Russell 2000 was up by almost 2%, but showed a topping tail due to some sell-off during the latter part of the week. The price of gold is only slightly lower, 0.4%, and is still around $2,400 per ounce. The next support is at around $2,300, but if gold breaks this level, it could fall until approximately $2,150. Silver dropped a significant 5.1% for the week, but is still holding above the $28 level, which should be short-term support for the metal. The barrel of WTI fell 4.3% and is at a support level, around $78 per barrel. It looks like WTI could continue in the range of $75 to $85 over the next weeks. Bitcoin recovered 9.4% and is around $66,500. Bitcoin seems to be on a downward trend, with the next supports around $60,000 and $53,000. However, this price formation could also signal a bull flag consolidation before the next price move to the upside. The relative strength of the US dollar, DXY, is slightly up, plus 0.3%, and has been stable in the range of 103 to 107 since April 2024. Financial conditions, NFCI, have loosened by 2.5% relative to the previous week, supporting the stock market and other risk assets in general. June M2 money supply values are not available yet. U.S. bond yields are slightly up this week and now sit at 4.52% for the two-year and 4.24% for the 10-year. Comment section. The main U.S. stock market indices have been in a small correction and have been negative for the past days. The equal weight S&P is unchanged and the Russell 2000 was still positive for the week, probably indicating that some money has been flowing out of the big caps and into other more value-oriented stocks and assets. The VIX, volatility index, has spiked a bit, as investors looked at a few negative days with some worry and started seeking puts for protection and speculation. This environment can be interesting for option sellers as premiums are higher. On the monetary policy front, this week, we had the speech by Jerome Powell, the Fed chair, where he hinted at imminent rate cuts, likely in September, and shared his worries about the unsustainable national debt of the U.S., in the euro area, the year-over-year -year inflation rate came as expected, at 2.5%, and the ECB held rates at 4.25%. Retail sales in the UK remain in negative territory, showing weakness of the consumers and poor demand. Subscribe for the next week's Week in Review. Take care and good luck.